All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we need to talk about the new Secure Act 2.0, which just passed. And this video, I'm just gonna get straight to it because there's a lot of information to cover and I'm very short on time. With the new Secure Act, basically what we have here is we have an increasing required minimum distribution age. Starting in 2023, the required minimum distribution age moves up from 72 to the age of 73. And they're gonna keep pushing that out over the next five or 10 years. Another thing that has changed and increased is the catch up contribution amounts. You can now put away up to $30,000 if you're a single person who's over the age of 50. That amount increases to $60,000 in total if you're a married couple who are both over the age of 50. And so in terms of what you can put away now, that has substantially increased over what you could do in 2022. Now, what's interesting about this is that it does require, this is a new rule, it requires all catch-up contributions to qualified retirement plans by employees with compensation in excess of $145,000 to be subject to mandatory Roth tax treatment after tax effective for post-2023 taxable year. So that's definitely a change. It increases the annual contribution for employees deferral and catch-up contributions to simple plans by 10%. This next one is a fairly big change for the employers. Increases the annual contribution for employee deferral and catch-up contributions to their matching contributions and allows employers to make additional non-elective contributions to simple plans effective beginning with 2024 tax year. You can now create, if you don't want to be in business, you can now create the a Roth Simple IRA or a Roth Step IRA beginning with tax year 2023. That sounds pretty cool because Roth is fantastic in my opinion. This is powerful. So at this allows a sole proprietor or single member LCs who set up a solo 401k plans after the end of the taxable year to make both deferral and matching contributions by the due date of the owner's income tax return. So now you can set up a retirement plan in your business after the end of the year and still have it count. Those contributions still would count to offset your taxable income for the previous year. That is pretty cool. Secure Act 2.0 replaces the IRC 25B qualified retirement savings contribution credit with a federal government matching fund program for low and middle income individuals that contribute to a qualified retirement plan effective beginning in 2027. This new SECURE Act now makes it easier for an individual to purchase a qualifying longevity annuity contract or QLAC with retirement savings by easing current limitations. You can now do penalty free rollovers from IRC 529 plans, which is like the saving education saving account plans that have been open for more than 15 years to Roth IRAs, subject to, of course, annual Roth contribution limits and a $35,000 lifetime cap, effective for distributions made after 2023. So that's cool. So you can move money out of that account to a Roth IRA. That's a, good, that's a new feature, as far as I know of. And lastly, it expands the list of exceptions from the 10% early withdrawal penalty for various types of retirement distributions and expands the income exclusion for health insurance premiums of retired public safety officers. This is just for the employers. It says mandates automatic enrollment for new 401k and 403b plans offered by employers with the option for employees to opt out for plans beginning after 2023. So basically you have to offer the mandatory enrollment, but you of course also have to give them the choice if they wanna opt out. It expands the mandated 401k coverage for long-term part-time workers enacted by the Secure Act by shortening the three-year service eligibility rule to two years effective for plan years beginning after 2024 and extends the mandate to 403b plans and allows employers to replace simple retirement accounts with the safe harbor 401k plans that require mandatory employer contributions effective for post-2023 plan years. So that was the quick low down broad level overview of the new secure act. I know we covered a lot of points here, but if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And I will leave a link to the actual bill or where you can find more information regarding the secure act in the description section of this video. So you can always check that out. And this is just, there's a lot to take in here for a lot of people it won't apply to them, but if you're an employer, it might, but this is just things to be aware of as retirement plan rules change. Uh, definitely discuss these kind of changes with your financial advisor as well as your CPA or tax person as you know, some of these changes will allow for tax plan strategies into the future. With that being said, you've been a wonderful audience. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. All right, everybody have a wonderful week and I will see you all in the next video.